What's your name? Jan Crafting. Hi, Jan. I'm Aaron Russo. I produced the movie Trading. Is this a joke? Am I gonna no, make no, it no, it's not a joke. Okay, no, 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 no. I produced the movie Trading Places with Eddie Murphy and the Rose with Bette Midler. Many movies. I'm doing a feature film, and uh, my film is about my quest to find out whether or not people pay income taxes. Do you pay an income tax? Yes, I do. You do. Yeah. Have you ever seen a law that requires you to pay an income tax? Have I ever read it to me in the page, black and white? No, yeah. no. So you pay the income tax, I assume? Uh, of late. Well, actually, no, I didn't file last year, but... Uh, okay. I'm sorry, is this on film? No, I paid my tax. My question to you is, have you ever seen a law that says you have to pay an income tax? The law is that guy that wears that badge and a gun. That's the one that puts you in jail. That's the law. Actually, I can't stand the IRS. Okay. They're evil. Do you have any fear of the IRS? Um, not, not really, because I'm Canadian. I think it's actually unconstitutional, is what I've heard. Right. But, um, but to avoid any hassle, I pay it. If there was no law and I wasn't afraid of them coming and taking me to jail, absolutely, I wouldn't pay taxes. Okay, then no, I wouldn't pay income taxes. Oh. It's a no-brainer. You wouldn't pay. I it. wouldn't pay it. Why would anybody? Because they, you know, that's that's what they tell us we must do. Else, we're bad Americans. Would you pay it? No. Would you pay it? No. So Why would you pay taxes if you're an actor? The income tax is not legal because it would be a direct tax and it is not apportioned as the Constitution demands. If it's against the Constitution, then why are we doing it? I really expected that, of course, there's a law that you can point to in the law book, the code, that requires you to file a tax return. Of course there is. I mean, I don't know what it is right then as, we, as he was speaking to me, but sure. So naively, I agreed to go off and research it and get back to him. Three and a half months later, I was at that point where I couldn't find the statute that clearly made a person liable, uh, at least not me and uh, most people I know, and I had no, no choice in my mind except to, to resign. I had to leave the IRS because I presented uh, evidence that I had accumulated indicating that the agency was violating the law and violating people's rights. And I asked the agency for a response to my sincere concerns. And the answer I got was that they would not respond to my concerns and that they would uh, provide me with the paperwork necessary to tender my resignation. But we, the People Foundation for Constitutional Education, put a full-page ad in the USA Today on July 7, 2000. And within the body of that ad was a $50,000 challenge for anyone that could show the law. And to me, $50,000 is a lot of money. So I went after that and did the research based on the fact that I thought, let's put this baby to bed. I'm hearing all these rumors. You know, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. I'll answer these people's questions that are asking me, and then I'll win this $50,000. And, you know, based on the research that I did throughout the year 2000 and that I'm still doing, I have not found that law. I've asked uh, Congress. We've asked a lot of people in the IRS, the IRS commissioners, helpers. They can't answer because if they answer, the American people are going to know that this whole thing is a fraud. I was surprised to hear these highly trained and decorated IRS agents telling me there was no law requiring American citizens to file a 1040 or to pay an income tax on their labor. I haven't uh, filed an income, federal income tax return since I left. I have not filed a tax return since 1999. Approximately 67 million people don't file an income tax return. No answers! Most people believe that the income tax system is legal and that the revenue from the tax is used in the public interest. However, there is a substantial, conclusive body of evidence that proves that our income tax system represents the most pernicious form of tyranny. It is the greatest hoax ever perpetrated by government against the working men and women of America. American citizens, along with the foundation, have been asking the IRS to specifically provide them with the, the underlying legal foundation upon which they administer and enforce the personal income tax laws in our country. And a lot of people might say, well, gee, if there wasn't an income tax, what would happen to education? They don't understand 
uh, that education is paid for, for the most part, out of state and local taxes, your property tax. People might say, well, how are we going to build and maintain our highways? If there's no money coming in to the government, we need our highways. There is a tax on every gallon of gasoline that people buy. Proceeds from the income tax do not pay for highway construction. The amount of money that we spend on defense is exactly equal to the amount of corporate income tax. I think we should not want the income tax for several reasons. One is that it is the instrument of totalitarianism. It is the means by which the government can manipulate people. The federal government itself refuses to provide the American people who are coercively being subjected to this extraction of their private property without any underlying legal justification. There is no law, there is no law that requires the average American worker in the private sector to pay a direct unapportioned tax on their labor and compensation for services. There is no law. Is there a law that requires people to file a 1040? Not explicitly, but uh, it's uh, certainly implied. Well, implied by force. Yeah. But is there a law? I can't cite a law, no. I cannot. But, um, you know, uh, if they think it's the law and they have all the guns, <laughs> He was being tried for four counts of not filing his income tax. Okay. And our question was, well, what is to decide? Either he did or he didn't. It never occurred to us that he might actually be innocent while at the same time not filing. It finally came to the climax. Mr. Harrell looked right at the prosecutor and he said, I will tell you the same thing I have told over and over again to government officials. You show me the law that requires me to file a tax return and I'll be glad to do it. The prosecutor absolutely ignored him. And he started slandering Mr. Harrell. Just started attacking his character. They're calling us tax sheets, they're calling us fanatics, they're calling us weirdos. I don't care what you call me, but I have one question. Where is the law? Show me the law. They can't let this turn into a rational debate, because if they do, they lose it. So they have to insult people and say it's frivolous. We felt like that there was an overall arrogance and that they were railroading Mr. Harrell and wanting us to participate. The judge promised us that he would give us the law. And we looked and we looked and it was not there. We wrote a note to the judge asking for a copy of the law. 10 minutes later, we get a note back. You have everything you need, but there was no law. And he had promised us. At, the, at that point, I felt betrayed. I felt like this man promised us the law, and that's what this whole thing is about, the law. We request it, and he still denies us the law. And the reason they didn't do it was why? Because there is no law. Two people, uh, they kept saying, but he's going to get by with it. And I said, what is he getting by with but his rights? If there is no law, he's not breaking a law. He's just standing on his rights. Are we going to deny him that? That's when this one juror sat back and kind of rolled his eyes and he said, you mean we don't have to pay taxes? You could hear people out in the audience, just in the courtroom, you know, just going, wow, you know. And the judge is just getting red in the face. I mean, he was just livid. And the judge got up and left. I sat there and I thought, this truly is a victory for the people. And I have never felt more patriotic. And I knew that we had done the right thing. I looked at that man, Mr. Harrell, and I thought, the system might not work all the time. But this time, for that man, it did.